just want to start off by saying how ironic it is that from the beginning of this, I had chosen Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon to be the first book for me to read in March for Contemporary. And I just finished it in the midst of literally what's happening right now. I just think it's so ironic that, I don't know, I guess my TBR predicted something like this. Not to this extreme, but like, still, she was quarantined for like, her entire life because of an illness and now we're all heading into quarantine in fear of getting ill what am i gonna read next hey guys so i just got back from going on a walk with my dad while listening to my audiobook um i just as a reminder i'm listening to my life next door as my audiobook and oh my goodness it is colder than it was yesterday today and so Whew. It was nice to walk, especially in, like, this time of quarantine where I'm not going outside much. But, oh, I didn't vlog because it was so cold. But I got a lot done with my audiobook. I got another two hours done, so I've got about two and a half hours left of my audiobook. And the thing is, is that this huge thing just happened in the book. And it's, like, this big thing happens, and you know exactly what happened, but the character is kind of figuring it out. And even when, like... The character has figured it out and the author just kind of keeps talking without just stating the obvious it always annoys me like it's like I know it the character knows it we all know it just hurry up and say it you know rather than like a, oh I draw it out and almost like make it poetic or make it mean something it just it always annoys me and it's like oh just get to the chase this happened which caused this and oh my word it's chaotic but so I'm kind of at that point in the book where it's like, what's the character going to do about it now? I hope they do the right thing. They're going to struggle not to do the right thing, and then they're going to get found out, and then it's all going to suck, and then maybe it'll get better on the last, like, page or two. But, um, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying the book. I think it's all right. I mean, it's a... I don't know how many pages it is because it's an audio book, but I'm glad it's a shorter book because I'm just not that into it so much as I would be with other books or other genres, so I will keep you updated. Hopefully I can keep listening to it here at home, but uh, we'll see, especially since uh, today is actually April 3, and so I <laughs> should have finished this video, but I hadn't finished the books for my contemporary genre, so I'm going to try and finish those as I'm working through my OWL's books and requirements and stuff, so yeah. We're going to try and get it all done very quickly so I can just focus on passing my owls. But catch up with you guys later. So I finished My Life Next Door today. And I gave it 3 out of 5 stars because I thought it was a pretty solid story, idea. It was interesting. I liked the characters. The ending I wasn't super happy with just because I feel like it all wrapped up so quickly. No, no, not that it wrapped up quickly, but that, like, it didn't wrap up enough. Like, I still had, not quite questions, but it just wasn't super clear what all was going on, and it was just so fast, and, I don't know, the ending just wasn't very satisfying, and it wasn't, like, an ending in the way of, like, oh, I have all these questions, I wish I could know, oh, or that I wish there was a sequel or anything like that, it just kind of was like ending ending and then it cut off right before the final details were finished um but yeah i mean it was an entertaining read i'm glad it wasn't super long just because if it were longer it would have dragged on for too long and it would have been started to get boring um yeah and as i mentioned before like it had one of those moments of like Yes, we all know this happened, just hurry up and get to it. I mean, it wasn't like a slow book or lagging or anything, but it just wasn't quite the pacing to my taste. So, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Still decently solid. I would still recommend it for people who really enjoy contemporary novels or romance novels. Um, just because, like, romance was a huge part in it, but it wasn't everything which I really appreciated. Um, but yeah, and with that, I'm gonna say that this is the end of my March film, or my March video. Um, I didn't get to read as many contemporary as I hoped I would due to 
the craziness of uh, packing up, moving back, being quarantined, not going to, not going to the library, um, just things like that. I, I was able to read everything, everything, and my life next door. I started another book that I think is contemporary, but I'm not 100% sure. It seems to be contemporary, but I have not finished it, and it is April now, so I am probably going to put that one on pause, um, because April I am doing the Owls Readathon hosted by Book Roast and with G, and so... Yeah, things have just been kind of wonky, as I'm sure everyone can relate and assume it's been pretty wonky. So, yeah, I, in terms of contemporary as a genre as a whole, it is not my favorite. It is not necessarily one that I am going to gravitate towards when looking for a new book. However, I do still like it, and I think, for me, contemporary is going to be much more of a summer read than anything, you know, school's out, I'm gonna go to the beach, or I'm going to just sit in the sun and read, and for that I'll use a contemporary book, but it's it's not a genre that I'm going to follow. Um, if there's a good contemporary, I will read it, but like I said, I just won't quite seek it out as much as I will other genres like historical fiction or fantasy or sci-fi blah 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 etc and so forth um but I still think it's a pretty interesting genre especially since like contemporary books can deal with such contemporary issues and I think that's a really good thing um especially when society is constantly changing and evolving I think it's very important to write books about it and then to read books about it to get some new perspective to just kind of exercise our minds about different solutions for problems or just understanding things um, so I admire contemporary, I admire certain contemporary novels that deal with these kinds of things, but not all contemporary novels are like that. Um, and yeah, and I find that contemporary novels really do dip into romance a lot, which I don't know if that's like, it's, gr it's fine. <laughs> uh, like I don't have a problem with romance, obviously, that was my last month's video, you can go ahead and check it out. Yeah, I just feel like there aren't as many contemporary books that are popular that don't have some sort of love theme or subplot. I, I don't mind contemporary love novels rather than like specifically romance books. I think I'd prefer the contemporary novel just because there's another element of life to it. So with that, I am gonna just say that this is the end of the video. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. Um, we have just been required to, well not required, but you know, it's the, the CDC is suggesting that we wear masks and so please don't go out and buy the um, medicinal masks that doctors and surgeons and nurses don't buy the masks that they use. If anything, I would encourage you to find some old scrap of fabric in your house and make yourself a mask. It is not that hard. Um, I will be doing that. I, people in my family have already done that. Um, and then I think that's just a fun way to like personalize your own mask is if you make it and then you can use whatever fabric you choose and blah blah blah. Anyway, this is not a health concern video, but I mean, yeah, speaking of contemporary, modern times, wash your hands, cough in your elbow, not into your hands. Please don't. Um, but yeah, so with that, I'm gonna wish you uh, not just a happy reading, but safe reading. We are warriors, we are tough, we can fight through it, so safe reading, guys.